Um, what I really want to share with you guys today is really, um, in a way, it's kind of a love story. It's a, it's a family love story. And I think that um, hopefully what you're going to hear, there are a whole lot of things that you can use in your personal life, in your relationships. I don't think this has to be just about me. I was very honored to recognize this one of the next best brilliant ideas for humanity. Um, the, uh, the, the final results just came down. And I did find out that I was second, not first. But that's okay. Um, I still feel like it's a great launching. And really what I hope to, to do is to be able to continue to get out and share this message because... It's going to take all of us. I really think that there's a ripple effect that can happen from this. It really is about strengthening our families at the very core of who we are because I think we've kind of get lost it a little bit as a nation. The table's kind of symbolic, and I think that's really what this is about. So it doesn't have to be just with your family. The kitchen table is a place where we kind of come together. It's a place where we feel safe a lot of times, and that's really what this is about. And creating that that space that so we can all feel kind of safe with it. But you pull from today certainly maybe some things that you can take back and share, maybe with your own families, but at the same time, maybe with people that you just really care about. That are in the Cheryl's presentation today really brought to light many different things that um, I had not considered and confirmed a lot of the things that I try to do with my family and it's a program that everyone should see and hear and live with. Because it's never about the challenges we face, it's how we choose to respond to these challenges. It's really what defines us and, and how we deal with you understand that when you are above the law, that you can actually you're empowered, you can actually make a change in your life. When you're below the line and you're blaming someone else, you're giving your power away. Someone it was a great seminar. It revolutionized the way the family communicated. It really taught me a lot about how to communicate better and how to um, be involved in familial ties. I knew what I wanted. So this is how uh, this book came to be, which was 100 Creative Ways to Save Money. It's actually an interactive workbook for, for dads. It's a workbook for families on how they can wrap around ideas and actually put action steps behind some of the ideas that they could adopt as a family. Cheryl's talk was so inspiring um, and just something that everybody really needs to hear to improve their relationships with their family and any other relationships in their lives. Um, you all know how much I've been waiting for spring to come, and today was a beautiful day, but it was worth it to forego the sunshine and be here with Cheryl Bassett. This was a wonderful presentation. Um, we learned about living above the line, which is ownership, accountability, responsibility. Uh, can't wait to put some of these things that I learned today into practice. Thank you so much, Cheryl, and to you too, Mary B. Well, the goal was treat others as you would want to be treated. The platinum was treat others as they would want to be treated.